Dane Tilda, Eiffel TV, in Associate MTK Global. With me, I've got the IBF world champion, none of them, Ryan Burnett. How are you, mate? Not too bad. I'm Good. glad to be in Belfast on a sunny day. I bet. It doesn't often get that much sunshine nah, here, so we've got to take usually, the most of it. It's not usually sunny, but today we got lucky. Indeed. Well, firstly, congratulations and well, well done to everyone for getting this fight over the line. It's a real yeah. big, big fight for yourself. Talk to me firstly about this unification. Uh, it's, a, it's a massive fight. Um, I've said it over and over again. I don't want to be just a world champion, I want to be a great world champion and in my eyes when I beat him, I become a great world champion. Zanik Zakhanov, uh, he won the world title in fantastic style. You and him probably spent a lot of time together in Ricky Hatton's gym in the past. Have you sparred Zanik for many rounds? Yeah, yeah, we had we done a lot of work but that was five years ago and back then I was, a, I was only a kid, I was only 19, 20, I hadn't developed, I uh, hadn't had any pro fights. Where he has, he was 27 at the time. I think he was developed. He was, he was strong. A full man. Yeah, yeah. And um, <clears throat> I, I wasn't. He was fighting for a European title or European champion, if I remember. So uh, I think if if the experience is going to play in the anyone's hands, going to be me own. What do you take away from when you sparred Zanet the first time? Uh, he's, he's, he's not a world champion for nothing. He's very very good, very strong. But I know that the, he's there to be beaten, and. If someone's going to beat him, it's me. When people win world titles initially, we often see sort of easy, easier defences for them to, to get to grips with, with winning the belt and the division. What was the reason for you to go straight into this unit? Like I said, I don't want to be just a world champion. I want to be a great world champion. Um, this opportunity was there. We had an opportunity to, to swerve this one. But you flip the coin and you big, big risks big risks and you get big rewards and that's exactly what's going to happen here. It's a risk but when I win it's going to be a big reward. Do you think for the fans, your, both your styles will gel, do you think it will be a fight that the fans remember? Uh, yeah, Daphne with, with his, his style, Daphne is a come forward fighter and uh, I adapt the people I know how to approach this fight. Um, I've got a very great, uh, great trainer in Adam Booth, he's been in the game a long time, he knows uh, what to do. So um, I'm, I'm in a great position, thank God. Do you think this will be the fight that, that gets the, the sort of the, the people of Belfast supporting you even more? We've seen the mural obviously with your face on it, which must be fantastic to get, but do you think this is the fight that, that breaks you out to the wider the wider Irish audience? Yeah, I think um, my first fight, because I hadn't been home so long, it was a bit of touch and go if it was going to take off, which it did. But this time, because the profile has risen so much, um, I, th I think this is this really is my comment moment. How much do you think you've improved under the tutelage of the Dark Lord, Adam Booth? <sighs> Massive. Adam's in, as a coach, he's incredible. He's taught me, he's taught me a lot of things that I didn't know. Uh, not just inside the ring, outside the ring. He's de Adam's developed me to become a better man, and with that, he's taught me a lot about boxing. But most of all, Adam's given me a great understanding of my own ability and I think that is key to, 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 to my success. With this big platform on Sky, with the sort of the exposure and everything comes with it, how are you handling that, that profile increase? To be honest, I'm just I'm just living in the moment. I'm just enjoying it. I'm not taking anything too serious. I'm not I'm not putting any weight on my shoulders. I'm just simply enjoying it and lapping it all up. You got a fight prediction for me? How do you see the fight playing out? I see me standing after the fight with two belts. That will happen. That will happen. I will become two-time unified champion. October 21st, Ryan Burnett. Definitely. Can't wait. It's going to be a great night. Ryan Burnett, thank you very much for coming to RFO TV. Great to get you on, champ. Thank you very much. Thank you, mate.